this tutorial I'm going to show you how to turn a, a color negative into a colored photograph. Uh, you might have some old negatives lying around and want to, um, or you might have a scanner so you can scan in your images um, and you'll obviously you'll end up with something like this, something that looks like it has a bit of an orangey, yellowy, even brownish tinge to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a colored photo uh, the best we can. Okay, so what you need is a program like Photoshop. Okay, and the first thing you want to do once you've opened your image is hold down the control key, and press the letter I for invert. So as you can see, it looks, we can see there's sort of color in there a little bit already. It's got a bit of a blue tinge to it. Uh, depending on the photo you're using, depends on uh, how well it's going to look colorized at this point. Uh, this doesn't look too bad. The next thing we want to do is go up to image and adjustments and go to levels okay and we bring up our window here and you'll see a button uh, with a drop down box or channel so the first thing we want to do is select click on there and then select red and as you can see we have our red histogram and we have our little sliders at the bottom here what we want to do is move the slider so it's sort of touching start of the histogram there. This one's already sort of at the beginning of the histogram there, but this one here we've brought to there. Okay, now we'll go to the next colour. We've got a green. Now we can slide this one over to there, roughly around where the histogram is. And there. And then we'll do the blue. So slide that up to there. And up to there. And then we can click and OK. Okay, so that's a basic sort of way to colour our image. Um, you might find the colours perhaps too saturated. What you can do is hold down the control key and press the letter U. And you can just play with the saturation by just, this will desaturate all the colours in one go, as you can see, as I move that slider. If I move it upwards, it saturates them. If I move back down, I can desaturate it a bit. So it's up to you how you want to play with that. But that's the basics of um, how to convert a negative into a coloured photograph um, for use and then you can edit all you like. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful.